Hey everybody, it's me, Aggie, with Artist Heart Studio. Hello, hello. I hope that you're um, safe. I hope that you're okay. I hope it's not too crazy windy and that your pets are all right. I know we were talking today, a lot of us um, in the membership, we, we kind of chat all day on Messenger together, all of us, and we were all talking about different, hi Cheryl, about the uh, the doggies are a little bit upset by all this crazy wind and stuff, right? So, um, Charlie seems fine. I guess we're not real bad here yet, and it might get bad, I don't know. I mean, Maybe I need to move this table. I don't know if I need to move that closer or not. Well, maybe it'll be okay. We'll see. So, did you see my template? I gave this to the members. Um, this is what I'm going to be painting tonight. I'm calling it Deer with Scarf. Real creative name. <laughs> um, if you want to get this, you can DM me. It's going to be, um, all the members have gotten it. Um, I'm doing this to promote my membership. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Mary. So glad you can join me. So I always like using a reference. Here's my free image from Unsplash. Hey, Pam. So I kind of, kind of used that, but I wanted him to have more of a rack, <laughs> a bigger, a bigger rack. Is that what they call that? I think that's what they call it. More antler action. And um, so that's what I did. I made him, made him have a few more antlers. And what I'm picturing is, um, hey Cindy, I'm picturing, I wanna give him a blue scarf made out of this stuff, this, this color that uh, one of the members turned me on, Lynn, she turned me on to this color, fire glass. And um, of course I'm not remembering the name right now. Hey Pam, but uh, anyway, I will give you this. Hey, Joanne, I will give you this tracer. Uh, I just can't give it to you right now because I'm live. <laughs> um, but anyway, and I even went out and got new graphite paper, brand new graphite paper, because my graphite paper never seemed to work. All right, so let me show you kind of my thought process, what I did so far. I was, I was thinking, well, I don't know that I really want to do this on canvas. So I had these, um, what do we call these again? These boards like this. I made a few of these. I had this one made already um, because I've got the, um, you know, a, bra a brad nailer. So it, it goes really quick. It's real easy to do these when you've got a brad nailer. And I just, I used to use these in my in-person workshops and I still have a bunch of wood left over. So anyway, these are just three pieces of wood, two little backers, just brad nail it. Um, and, you know, if you don't have that, you can just get yourself a big piece of wood or something. This is about 17 by 24. And, um, but you don't have to do that. If, you know, you could do it. Um, when you hear that weird noise, that's my chair, by the way. <laughs> Pallet board, thank you, Cindy. Um, this will fit on a 16 by 20. Oh, we're, we're upside down. Oh. I just kind of snarfed down my dinner, so mm, feeling a little bit like, a little bit like I ate too fast. Um, the problem with this, with this is it feels too far away, so I am gonna move the camera in towards me a little bit more. There you go. <clears throat> because it's really not good for your back to to be, to be reach. There you go. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so what I did is I um, sanded it, and our resident wood expert, Shelly, who's right here, um, uh, I was asking her the other day for another project that we're doing in the membership, what's the best way to handle raw wood? So she gave me the inside scoop on that, and I prepped the wood with, in that manner and then I just did a coat actually kind of two coats really of Anita's pearl metallic and I gotta tell you this looks dazzling sparkly pretty doesn't it and what I like about it is I can still kind of see the wood grain through there so I want to still see the wood because um, 
I don't know, because it's a deer, it's because it's a deer. And um, I remember one time I did a paint party for a dear friend of mine, and it was at her, like her second house in, um, I forget where it was now, but they had this big deer head mounted. <laughs> and I mean, it was huge. And that was the place where I, that was the best spot for me to stand underneath this deer head to teach the class. <laughs> And so, so it was her and a bunch of her friends. It was awesome. It was, a, it was a great time. But man, it was a little bit creepy being under this giant deer head. <laughs> anyway, I thought, you know, and here in Wisconsin, we have the deer hunters weekend. The guys all go deer hunting. And the women used to come to my paint parties because, you know, what else are you going to do? Um, that was a really popular time. I think that was just, I don't know, when was that, last month? I still can never remember when it was, but... Um, I thought there's, there's a, a kinder, gentler way to have a, you know, we would love deers. And I just thought, well, instead of it looking like a mounted deer head, <laughs> let's do something a little nicer. Now, let me show you. I did do this before. <clears throat> Apparently, I like deer because this is like my... Um, third version of this, I guess. So there's this. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Um, did this. This was a paint party and it involves the splatters and everything. So that's a fun one. And we basically just put the jingle bells in there. You just string the jingle bells and then hang them. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And, um, and then I also have this other deer version right here. I guess I didn't realize I liked deer so much. Here's this other one. And we even did these on our um, ornaments this year. I did these on ornaments. Let me go grab, go grab one to show you. Oh, are they all gone? Shoot. Oh, I got one left. <laughs> I have one left. So see how cute as an ornament? Kind of cute, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I know, right? And it's really an easy painting, honestly. It's such an easy painting. But it's a great idea. You can do this with so many different things, right? Okay, so let me put this stuff away. And we'll get started. On this painting so I just wanted you to see this is basically how I start um, a class just kind of gather up some ideas I always provide you with a template you don't have to know how to draw you really don't even know have, have to know how to paint because I help you with that um, I am a self-taught painter but I'm a lifelong artist I learned design and lettering and illustration in art school. And then I had a career for about 20 years as an art director. So design, you know, if you know how to design and if you understand, you know, composition and all that balance and all that stuff, it carries you very far. You can learn all the other stuff. You can just apply it to everything you do. And, um, so that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> anyway, um, let me get some paints out and start playing around with some colors. See what's gonna go nicely with our blue because we want a gorgeous blue scarf on him. I know I want him to have like black eyes, you know, dark, a black nose. I want him to be kind of black and white-ish with maybe a hint of brown. Hey, Judy. Hi, Jean. Thank you so much. And Sandra, thanks for joining. So I'm going to turn my camera down and I'm going to show you what I like to do. Oh, I didn't mean to invite Sandra. Sorry. I hit the wrong thing. Um, I'm going to turn my camera down and show you. I got my two auction pieces from you and I love them both. Oh, great, Jean. I'm glad you got them. I'm glad you love them. That's good to hear. If you were to say that you didn't like them right now on a live, that wouldn't be too great. <laughs> Hi, Dorothy. How are you? 
Good to see you, my friend. Okay, so let's grab some paint, shall we? Uh, these are my, you know, kind of the colors I use all the time. Um, let's see, what white am I going to use? I guess I could have had my paints out, but it's probably better for you to see me um, doing this, right? So I'm going to grab a little white. <clears throat> Um, here's my palette over here. Grab a little white. Hey, Sandy. Did I say hey, Sandy already? Um, another a really convenient color is a neutral gray. I'm going to put a little neutral gray out. And I know I want to make... So, so we've done stuff like this in the membership, and there's a lot of new members that haven't been introduced to this whole color study thing yet. But I know that I want to kind of go with um, a, a really pretty gray like this. So that is made with um, PB29, which, you know, I don't have it memorized, but I'm pretty sure that's ultramarine blue, right? and orange believe it or not because blue and orange are complementary colors so i kind of want this deer to have some uh, neutral grayish tones warm though and um that should go nicely with my blue glass right in theory right oh putting a little black a little um, ultramarine blue um, you can buy the color orange or you can make it yourself, um, out of, and we, we, it's better to refer to your paint colors as pigment by the pigment number. So this is PV19, which is, depends on which company that you bought it from, but it's primary magenta with golden acrylics. So I've got a little bit of that, or basically a cool red. And then a um, PY35 is a, um, you know, cad yellow light and cad yellow medium are both PY35. So I don't know how they do it, but the cad yellow light is actually a cooler yellow. And I don't really want cool yellow. I want um, warm yellow. So I'm just going to start with this. And then... Um, you know, you can make your own browns, but it's a heck of a lot quicker to just use a brown, and I love burnt umber. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of this out also. And that's probably it. And I'm going to get this out of the way. Now, normally I like using the Stay Wet palette, but um, I, I don't know. I'm not going to use that tonight <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know. I might need more white, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so I just want to kind of figure out, so I'll do a little color mixing with you really quick. Hopefully this isn't boring or anything, but um, what I like to do is always start with the light colors first. So um, I'm going to grab some white and... Um, some yellow and red and make that it's an orange essentially it's an orange but we added white to it so it's peach and because i want to figure out this this really pretty gray that i got right here i want to do that and then so i'm going to take some blue put that over here and mix some of this in with it and if it's if it's too much yellow it's going to be green if it's too much red it's going to be purple so you know and then of course if i add more of the yellow and red to the blue it becomes more of a brown um a little tiny bit more blue and it's gonna it's gonna go gray. And then of course when you add a little more white to it, believe it or not, white cools it. 
So it's a very pretty neutral gray, believe it or not. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, I really like that. I need to make more of that, but, but essentially you see how I did it, right? Of course, it's a lot quicker to just go to, here's a neutral gray right out of the tube and I could add um, my burnt umber to this and probably get a very similar result. Pretty similar, right? Maybe that would be my lighter version of the color. I could even add a little blue to that maybe. Make it just a little bit cooler. And I like that too. If it were a, if it were a dough, I would probably use um, more of a, a pinkish color, like more like um, when you're watching Bambi, what's the girl, the girl deer on Bambi? She looks so peachy, she looks almost peachy colored. She probably looks more like this color. Um, so if you wanted to make your deer female, I would go with these colors. And then of course, I, I, this is how silly I, I don't, I'm not up on deer too much, but it's only the males that have the big rack, right? Does anybody know? The, the, women, the women don't have the antlers, right? I don't even know. How bad am I? I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I don't know my animals. So I'm going to probably do... Wow, that's a lot darker than I thought. And then I'm going to do white around the eyes. And I, I might want the white to be just a little bit warmer, so I would use a little bit of that peachy color that I had, right? This is just me kind of testing stuff out. The nose is going to be black, right? And then there's going to be, they have a little bit, now that got too cold, okay? My black, I don't like, I don't want it to be a cold black, so I'm going to, that's why I got the burnt umber. So I kind of want this deer to have a little bit of this coloration that we're seeing on the forehead. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Only bucks have a rack, thank you, yes. So yeah, it's a buck and a doe, right? <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, I think those colors will work. It, that's a little bit dark, but when I do the real thing, I'll, I'll make it lighter. So, and then if I want to get just a little bit warmer, um, cause there are some warm tones in here. Maybe on here, I'm going to mix a warmer, a warmer brown. That's very warm. Wow. Let's add some gray to that. That's a nice tone. And I, honestly, I think that would go really nicely with the um, blue, believe it or not. And I can add white and gray, more white and gray to this too. Okay, so yeah, that looks good. If we need just a little more color on the deer, right? All right, all right, we got our colors, yes! So now I'm gonna, I'm just, and the reason why I like styrofoam plates is I can do this now and um, get my hair off of here and save this for my painting in a few minutes. So I'm gonna go back over here to my, um, to the real thing, my actual painting palette that I prepared. And like I said, I, um, you can use, you know, you can use whatever you want. You can use a 16 by 20 canvas, um, a board. I, I made the template for you to be, um, six, it'll fit on a 16 by 20. So all I'm going to do, and, I, and also I'm going to make his neck and his scarf longer. I want, I want it a little bit longer. So I'm going to move this up. Sorry. And you can't even see the top of my board. So I'm going to move this up and center it and tape it in position and then put my tracing paper down and get this trace and get it, you know. We'll paint tonight. We'll chat about the membership. And uh, we'll see how far we get. I don't, I'm not expecting myself to finish this tonight. Oh, I'm getting some tape, hold on. And this is pretty much exactly how I do a uh, class in my membership, FYI. 
you know, it's just, it's, it's as if you're right here with me in the studio. This is exactly what I would do if I were doing a paint party. Um, only you would walk in and all the supplies would be sitting there ready for you. That would be nice, right? <laughs> so I bought this new uh, graphite paper tonight and it better work. I had some of this from before from Hobby Lobby and, and it, it just never worked for me and I always wound up using my um, charcoal. Oops, my brush wants to roll off. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then I like using a red ballpoint pen and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this on here. So this might be a little bit boring. So let me just tell you guys, if you want to get this tracer, I will share it with you and maybe you can even, you know, go ahead, um, just DM me. Or if you want to email me, you can email me at agnesfriedlander at gmail.com and I will email you the um, PDF. It's a four page PDF, it's compressed. So it'll, it'll work via email and then you can print it out. Um, just send, send the whole document to the printer. It'll print on eight and a half by 11 paper and then you're just gonna need to tape it together like this. And, um, and that's it really, let's double check that it's working. It is, but it's light, darn it. It's a, but I can see it good enough, it's good enough. It is gray, the color of this. So I'm trying not to press anywhere else, but oh well, I, I am pressing. So right before this, when I was um, eating dinner, have you guys ever heard of the Miami it's a new, a new thing on, on Netflix, the Miami Sound Band, I think a uh, massacre, an Irish band. Did you see that on Netflix? My goodness. Apparently um, from that, all that violence that was happening in, in Ireland back 40 years ago, maybe that's why we never heard of this band. They were, I don't know if all of them were, but at least three of them were murdered. I, you know, oh, just terrible. I had never heard of it before. Anyway, I digress. Maybe I shouldn't have been watching that right before going live. Ah, oh, terrible. So yeah, I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna paint in here. Uh, you have to remember to get it. I know, right? Okay, let's see. I know it's, well, you don't really have to use a red pen, but it is nice because then you kind of know where you, uh, where you painted. So let me ask you, you guys, when you look at this trait, this, this drawing, this design, what do you picture in your mind that you would do? Would you would you do the antlers with like silver glittery, um, silver glittery look? I kind of thought about that. Or um, or would you do? I don't know. What would you do? Tell me your thoughts. So many choices, and you know what's cool about this? Hey, Betty. And Ruth, and, and thank you so much for joining us. We're painting, we're gonna be painting this deer in a few minutes. It's a deer wearing a scarf. It's a buck, technically, right? Shelly reminded me that actually it's a buck. And um, I'm giving away the free, the tracer, but you would have to email me. I'm probably gonna be back on tomorrow night working on this with you guys. So if you wanted to watch this video and paint it, if you had time, you could. And then I'm also gonna be doing glass and resin on it as a demo. And we're doing this to um, celebrate. Um, we are at 50 members. Actually, we're, we were just over 50 members in my membership and I'm promoting it. And I still have my Black Friday deal going and you can join for $27 a month, you can join my 
Painter's Journey membership. I teach you how to paint better, but I also teach you how to use glass and resin on your paintings. And let me just say, that gets you a lot of attention. It gets your artwork a lot of attention. I literally do have millions of people following on Pinterest and um, liking my pins and saving my pins. And um, I, I never had that happen to me before. <laughs> and I think it has to do with the glass and resin for sure, for sure. So everybody's enjoying glass and resin. I mean, resin, everybody loves resin, right? It's just oh, it makes everything beautiful. So I have kind of revamped my membership in light of that. And, um, you know, I got all kinds of new members and life is good. So I just want to share the membership with more people and uh, invite you to join us. So that's what we're doing. And, and I figure, you know, if I go live and uh, just, you know, do what I do, hopefully you're going to, um, maybe you're gonna see me. If you have any friends that you think would be interested, please let them know. I think it's the best membership out there um, for the price especially. And you, we do three projects a month. So anyway, that's my big sales pitch. Um, with score tape and paint, I think that would look amazing as texture on the antlers. Oh, that sounds cool. Score tape, yeah. I know, the antlers, um, a technique like that would be great. I mean, I've even thought of using plaster and a, and a, and a knife, possibly, to do the... Um, antlers in in a plaster I'm kind of debating about that you know so this these I this this I gotta say my tracer turned out really cool in procreate I use the eraser tool <laughs> for the um, for the uh, colored part of the eye and it kind of kind of looks pretty cool actually if I do say so myself all right um, the scarf comes out here. The scarf comes this way. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think it's pretty good. I'm probably going to have to like draw over it a little bit, but that's okay. And like I say, the members already have the tracer. It is very light. <laughs> I don't know why this graphite paper doesn't work that well, does it? It just doesn't work. Let me go get my, oh, I wonder if this would pick it up. There you go, the tape picks it up. It's just little pieces of the graphite. Um, what still works the best, honestly, is a little piece of charcoal rubbed on the back of your tracer. <laughs> that works the best. Um, all right, let me get a pencil. And I'll just darken up my lines a little bit more. And you know what, the, the cool thing about this, um, oh, I, you know what I was gonna say earlier, I don't think I finished my thought. Um, there's so many different ways you could, you could use this tracer, different designs that you could do. You could do, um, you could do a, um, a wreath around the neck. 
You could do like a crown of flowers on top of the head. You could do um, the scarf or even put him in a turtleneck. You could also put glasses on him. <laughs> I've seen that. That is so cute, isn't it? Do you guys like the characters um, when they've got the glasses on them? <laughs> Not characters, but you know, animals with glasses on them. I just saw that in um, my Hobby Lobby doesn't have any Christmas stuff left anymore. Can you believe it? Well, it, they have Christmas wrapping paper. Okay, they have Christmas wrapping paper. But um, yeah, they turned everything over and put the some spring stuff out. And um, I could even make this antler tip just a little bit longer. Let's do that. Since I'm putting this on a larger um, substrate, um, so yeah, and that so this could carry us into spring. We could do a spring design and um, do a spring wreath around the deer's neck, or um, who knows what else we might come up with, right? Hubby's home, <laughs> if you're hearing all that upstairs. Um, nostrils. So the nostrils are kind of in here. Oh, I forgot to trace this inside shape, darn it. <laughs> okay, so it kind of goes like this. Right, follows that. And this kind of goes like this. Right. I don't know, it's like a weird in and out curve, it's like an S curve. Something like that. I figured that was the easiest way to draw that, you know? Okay, and then this scarf, we're making his neck a little bit longer. <laughs> and then the scarf can come out like this. And then the other end of the scarf will be a little bit shorter. Okay, something like that. You know, you have to have it drawn on the way you really like it, right? Okay, this needs to be a little bit wider. Some weird line right here. I don't know how that got there. And by all means, if you've got any questions about the membership, just drop them in the comments there. We've got some members here watching and supporting me. I told them I'm gonna be supporting the membership and they're so sweet they wanna help out. They don't have to, but I invited them if they wanted to come hang out. And that's how we are. We are a group of ladies that we just all help each other. You could put Christmas lights on his antlers, yes. Dorothy, did you see the jingle bells on the one I did um, 
Uh, did you see the Jingle Bell one I did? And I also did that same one. This guy, um, this guy is the is Jingle Bells, but I also did a version of him with lights. Not real, not real lights, but painted lights. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I like the Jingle Bells better, but they're both really nice. Okay. Um, it's really hard to see. Okay, how does it, oh, you guys can't even really see that, can you? Maybe now you can see it. There's so much sheen. Hey, Carolyn, how are you? Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. All right, I think we've got it pretty good. So I'm going to start painting. It looks very tall, but that's okay. <laughs> and I'm going to have strings hanging off of the, um, scarf too. Yeah, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for the antlers yet. Uh, I feel like this one should be a little fatter. Um, so do you guys think the antlers should be dark or light? Just curious. I know I want his nose black. The eyes are gonna be pretty black. There's black spots on the ears. And of course he's got this dark, you know, dark coloring. Man, yeah, maybe I should do the antlers dark. Yeah. You know, anytime it's the first time you're painting something, you're, you know, there's just so many ways you could go that it's like, ah, right? <laughs> Even I go through that, I do. There's just so many choices all the time. All right, so I don't know why, but I think I'm just gonna start inside of these ears just a little bit. Since I have the warm color on my brush and I'm gonna blend out this edge And it is sometimes weird painting on um, this, you know, glittery stuff that I'm painting on, this Anita's paint. I forgot about that. It's not, it's not the best surface, but I just love the glittery uh, stuff showing through, you know. So, okay, got the paint off of that brush. I'm going to switch to a round brush and... Um, just start painting in my black, my dark, my darkest darks, my blacks. So this is his eye. So is it windy wherever you are? I think the whole country is experiencing these crazy winds, right? Maybe not. So I'm just adding a little bit of water. And this is a liner brush. It's like my favorite 
liner brush. It's by um, Dick Blick. And I love how they have these eyelashes. I, even though he's a buck, I'm sorry, he's got to have eyelashes, right? Pouring rain. Oh, pouring rain. Oh, hey, Judith. Um, and it was just, it's just unseasonably warm. I, I just, you know, can't get over how warm it is. All right, so I painted the, um, the eyes in. Now I'm gonna paint this nose. And you know, remember we're adding glass and resin on top of this, so you don't really have to do a ton of painting. That's what's nice about it. So anytime I'm painting um, a shape and it's, I, I try to make sure that my brush is loaded with, you know, that I've got the right amount of, um, you know, water added to the paint so it'll flow, you know, especially if you're doing like lines, um, you really do need to have, um, you know, enough water in there. Yeah, I've always loved doing eyes. I've just, I've always been an eye person. In high school, I was one of those people that uh, basically painted eyes everywhere. <laughs> you know, in my notebook and and every everywhere, you know. And I um, got this book by Andrew Loomis on, um, I wonder if I should, I, maybe I should just go ahead and paint this like edge of his face. Um, this book from Andrew Loomis on um, called Creative Illustration, really great book. Um, they do sell it uh, now, but on Amazon, I think, and He's got some great eye studies, you know, and it basically takes you through the structure of the eye, you know, under, understanding what is underneath, you know, what the eyeball and the skull and oh my goodness, all that stuff, you know. <laughs> He's kind of a hipster looking uh, dude, right? So that's the white line, like the, the wet line of his eye. Um, I know it looks really big right now. And I do tend to make things have big eyes. That's just kind of my style. All right, and then... Um, we do want the eyes to be pretty dark, so let me make a dark gray. Mm, that's too dark. 
but the eyes are really dark. Oh, you can't even tell now. So we're going to cheat and use our artistic license and we're going to use like brown with white. Oh. <laughs> if I can get my brush to work for me. So I've got brown with white. that I'm gonna put on top of this into this wet gray. That side went out much better. And then we'll just put a little highlight in there too. The highlight almost looks blue. Just putting a hint of the nostril in. I don't want to get too crazy with it. The, the nostril, the black, I mean the, the nose, I'm not going to use any brown on that. That's like a cold, a colder black. The eyes I wanted warmth in, you know? Because <clears throat> I'm looking, and when I look at my reference, and the, see this is why I like using references. When I look at that reference, I can actually see just the littlest hint of um, of brown in there. And now I'm just putting this hint of, you know, gray on the top of the nose. But I don't think I'm gonna have glass on this part. And then the, um, that line on the eye is actually just a really light gray. Ugh. Okay, so now I can kind of outline the, the nose a little bit with this lighter gray. just to kind of soften some of that. Oh yeah, they are, these are Blick Scholastic Wonder White script brushes. Hey Antonia, that's the name of this. All right, let's see. Then we want to put, um, oh. um, 
Let's see what I want to do. I think I want his nose to come forward. So I'm going to use white. You know, on the nose and on, of course, around the eyes. And, you know, we can leave some of this, you know, my, my background color showing. But it, it really helps to have, we call that a ground. It really helps to have a ground color in there just to kind of get you started. So when they have this, this whole snout really kind of stands out. But the, the part, oops, I went too far with that. This part there, that chin or whatever, that's a, that's a different color. That's a gray. So that we're going to not use the white. So I'm just doing these um, dabby strokes in the direction that I kind of see from the fur. And by the way, this, this is an unsplash photo. Hey, Christy, how are you? Thanks for joining us. This deer, this buck is um, from, un well, I think it's from unsplash. I sure think it is. <laughs> I could be wrong. Now I don't remember for sure. Oh, God, I hope it was. So I love how the white pushes that forward. Okay, and then he's got these um, brows. You know, he's got a little bit of some dark color right here. So let's get a little bit of that in. And that's where I wanted to use um, you know, there's hints of this color. Let's see. All right, wait, let's start with the black. the blackish color that I see. All right, tip of the ear. And I'm holding the brush loosely. I don't want to get too um, persnickety about this. It's an ear, you know, it can be Kind of loose and I kind of like having the brushy texture. Yeah I mean we need we need that contrast and then I guess I'm gonna do this part of the antler dark. I 
think it just needs that, you know. And I mean, I wasn't even sure. Oh, wow, this is a really big painting. It's hard to get it all in there. I wasn't even sure that I wanted it to be black, but, um, you know, again, it could be a base layer and we can come back in and add something on top of it. Yeah, their antlers are kind of all different colors. So right here, he's really got <laughs> some very interesting markings, right? Almost like eyebrows. And then it really becomes spotty. So I'm going to switch to this scruffy brush. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to literally just do dots since that's what I see. And I'm going to use the scruffy brush to get this um, hair texture on the ear. And I think it would work on the antlers too, actually. He's got a little bit of it coming down on his neck. So the scruffy brush really helps, really, really helps us um, achieve texture. He's got a cool look. Just a little bit warmer. Oh, that's too warm. Just a little bit warmer in there. And I don't know, his his neck looks a little bit warm too. Let's get a little bit of this on there. And okay, now I think I want to do this like
And then we're gonna make his, uh, maybe this part just a little bit lighter. Okay, now I do need to let this dry a little bit. And I can always come back in and add more of my uh, metallic paint that I had on there that's kind of disappearing. Oh, I just dropped my paper towels on the floor. So it is an ever so slightly darker color over here. And if this is darker, it helps the snout um, come to the foreground. It bring push the it pushes the snout forward. This is kind of wet, and it's turning kind of gray. So I need to let it dry. <laughs> and meanwhile, my white got all dirty. And sometimes just changing the direction of your brush stroke will really change the way um, it looks. It'll really help it. Anyway, all right. Let's see. So let's go to the um, antlers now again. I gotta go get my paper towels that are on the floor. That I knocked over. All right, I think I'm gonna paint in more of this go on this side maybe are you guys able to see it is it the lights kind of reflecting right So here's where the head kind of meets it. Meets the antlers. I guess I'm doing a base coat of black antlers. <laughs> and then we'll just come in, maybe we'll use like a chalky um, texture on top. Um, you know, and I, I do want to put glass and resin. I mean, the whole thing is going to be covered in glass and resin, but um, maybe I will put, maybe I'll just put like a silver, the silver vase filler on this. That would probably look nice, right? What do you guys think? And honestly, I think this is the kind of design you could conceivably have up all year.
you know, instead of a taxidermied <laughs> deer head. Uh. They're just such pretty creatures. I hate to think of them in that way, you know. Thank you, thank you. I'm liking how it looks, good. Okay, um, then the ear. This ear is also dark-ish. These are hairs, so this round brush works great for this. But I don't wanna lose, um, like over here, I'm gonna use a, a, I left this empty so that I could put a lighter color so that the you could see the antler again. I don't wanna make it all black because then you won't differentiate the antler from the ear, right? <laughs> so, um, all right, let's do this one. Is this all dry? I guess it is. I do love painting on wood, I really do. I don't know if I need to base coat the, um, the scarf. gonna be a blue scarf. I mean, you could do plaid. Oh, well that's good, I'm glad you're not freezing. Thank you, Christy. Oh, your screen is freezing, Michelle. I wasn't sure if you guys meant um, weather-wise. I was gonna say, yeah, it, it is really warm here today in Kenosha. <laughs> It really was. I couldn't believe it. Very strange. I'm sorry if you're still freezing. Is that the kind of thing everyone says to come back out and come back in again? Maybe that would help, I forget. I don't know if that really helps. It, it is. It's crazy warm, right, Cheryl? My goodness, like 67 degrees, I think it was, or something like that. <laughs> this is a very tall looking buck. Okay, yay! Now this is a little darker right here. It's almost like those are his, his eyebrows or something. Okay, and then it's a little more goldy looking. Sorry, I have it over here on the side. Um, I know, where's the snow? I, not that I'm, hey, we're not really, come on now. 
We're not really asking for snow, are we? I can wait. So I'm kind of adding a little bit more red to warm it. I smush it down because there's there some of the times the paint goes up into the ferrule. I just see hints of some warmer colors going on in here, so I'm trying to get that in there. And then of course we see that warmer color over here in the ear. My table is rattling against something. This is his neck. Which I might need to make a little darker. rather have it snow now rather have it now than February yeah yeah by the time I mean when by the time February rolls around we're just so sick of all of it right oh I mean it's just actually this is the perfect color right here Oh, I like this color a lot. Yeah, when you stumble on the right color, <laughs> use that. Yes, 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 I love this color. So I'm just kind of coming around these edges. Any any place I'm looking at, I'm looking at it, and you know whatever I actually see is what I'm painting, not what I think it's supposed to look like. Does that make sense? I mean, and a lot of times, you know, we we think that this looks like this and this looks like this, but you know, that's why you need a reference, in my opinion. So I'm kind of just dry brushing right now, which is one of my favorite techniques to just get it. So I'm just kind of softening stuff. There's very little paint in the brush. You can hear I'm just kind of rubbing Actually, the tip of his nose has some, I don't know, kind of hints of some darker colors or some brownish stuff around there. So let's get that in there. All right. 
point. That's still too pronounced right there, so let's soften that up a little bit. Okay. A um, little more brownish color. I ran out of my brown. Let me get a little bit more. This is fun. Um, I'm kind of getting into it. Wow, why is my Hotmail want some password or something? I don't know why. I'm losing people. I had... I had like 15 people watching, and um, now there's eight of you, which I'm very grateful for. <laughs> Thank you for being here with me. They're probably going to come back and see my progress later, right? All right, so this is just burnt umber with white. And you know with acrylic paint, it dries a little bit darker. And... Um, Maybe burnt sienna would have been a good uh, choice to incorporate in here. And I can still do that, actually. I might. So I'm doing the same thing. I kind of want to blend um, you know, the, the brownish color into the black. And for me, dry brush, especially on wood, it, it really works well. Don't be afraid to, to do that, to scrape like with the side of your brush and you can even use your, your the hard end of your brush and paint, you know, scratch little lines in and stuff. I love doing that. Hey, Brandy, how are you? We're just painting here, <laughs> or I am anyway. <laughs> okay, um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Um, All right, you know what? I should put some kind of a base of the for the blue in here because that's gonna really change the way it looks so much. So, um, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna use, since, since I used this ultramarine blue, let's get some of that in here, right? ultramarine blue. Because then I will start using it in the painting a little bit more. You know, to create that harmony. Brandy, what are you doing tonight? Yay, you got power back on. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, God. How long were you without? I guess, what, three days? Ay, ay, ay. I'm just glad it wasn't worse for you. Do you have friends that were affected? Oh, five days, sorry, gosh. What, oh man, what did you do? 
did you have a you don't have an emergency generator or This is right on the line, so it's kind of hard to paint it. I think I need a little more white. Yeah, that is a long time. Did you lose all your food? Hey, Pat Pat. I don't think I got you in the Pat joined Pat Pat joined the membership, but I don't think I got you in yet. I'm so sorry, Pat Pat. <laughs> oh. Still need more white. More white, please. Uh, forgot to sign in. <laughs> she calls you Pat Pat. Oh, wait, I did get a Pat in today. I did get you in. I'm sorry. I didn't put that together. Um, that Pat Pat is Patricia. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Welcome, thanks for joining us. Yay, new member. We got a new member. All right, so I added more white. Let's get this going here a little better. I think this is here. So Pat, you and two other people joined today. It was awesome. It was a really good day. Yay. We know lots of people with damage. Okay, some with total loss. Oh, let me read the rest of this. We had to get generator, but food didn't make it. I'm trying to put my house back together, do laundry, doing it all, waiting for our internet to get back up and be stable. Oh, I am so sorry, Brandy. You know, let me just say, um, if you, um, Oh, you, did you do the annual plan? I think you did the annual plan. Well, it doesn't matter. If you, if you were to need to pause the membership, did you know that you can pause it? Like if you're just gonna be, you know what I mean? If something like, I mean, I'm so sorry this happened, but I just don't know if you even know this. I don't think I've even really talked about it, but um, with the PayPal um, set up the way they offer it, you can actually pause your membership, meaning you can extend it, you know, at no charge or anything like that. Let's say you're going to be on vacation for a month. You can pause it, um, you know, like let's say the whole month of, God forbid, but let's say the whole month of January, you know that you're just not even going to be able to participate in the membership. You can pause it for a month. So just, just FYI, just letting you know that. Um, it's, and it's, you know, no big deal. And I figure it's, maybe that's a good thing to let other members know too, just in case. In other words, it, it's still, you're still subscribed, you're still in the membership. Um, 
we're, we're just, we know you're not going to be active, so we kind of put you on this um, pause status where you wouldn't have access while you're in pause, but you would regain the access again when you come back, you know, from your vacation or from your uh, whatever is detaining you from being able to participate in the membership, if that makes sense. So let me know privately, if you know, or whatever, if that's something you feel you need to do. Uh, yeah, tornadoes are very scary. Very, very scary. All of it is. All of it is very scary. Are you kidding me? So now that I've got everything blocked in, um, I can kind of refine it a little bit more. Like I know I need, I see some things I need to fix right away. And I can even use a little bit of this, you know, light blue now and add that to, to my grays, just to kind of create just a bit more color harmony by doing that. I don't know exactly where I want to use this yet, but like maybe even on his nose, There is just a bit of highlight there. <laughs> and um, even, even his chin could be a slightly cooler gray with this bit of blue added to it. And, um, you know, maybe even some shadowy areas over here. And especially in the antlers, actually, um, I could make the antlers just a little bit bluish looking. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's not really showing up real great because of the sheen directly above me. I live in South Florida 20 years and the hurricanes were bad enough. At least we had several days and week warnings. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gotta be pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, I like that. I could even put, um, well, I don't want to put blue in his eyes. <laughs> um, I, I love mixing blue with black. And um, I almost see some of that over here. Yeah, I definitely see this blue-black on his nose. I don't really know why, but I do. And that's the kind of thing, it doesn't really show up on camera, but it, it, it really looks good. <laughs> I'm gonna put a hint of it in his eyes too. Um, 
um, I could probably even put a hint of it on his ears. So I'm putting hints of it all over. Oh, I hear the wind. You hear it? Oh, and this would be a good color to put maybe back in here. Oh, it might be a little too dark. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> the wind, I hear it. Well, my furnace is right over here, so it's not like it's a chimney or anything, but I wonder if that's why we hear it. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I, I like the scarf on him. I need to make the neck a little bit darker, so maybe I'll go to this brown. Here, I'll make it quite a bit darker. This is all starting to get just a little bit dry on me, all this paint. And I saw that um, movie last night with, oh God, my problem is I forget everybody's name. <laughs> oh, never mind. I can't remember her name. She just got out of prison and she wants to see her sister. Did you guys see that one yet? Oh, the actress with the really dark hair. I can't believe she still has her hair so dark. I don't know that it looks that great on her anymore. I'm a hairstylist, so I'm, I'm always going to give those hair opinions. <laughs> Can't help it. Oh, I know. I need white on the ear. That's what, that's what I'm missing. Let's put the white on the ear. That helped. That's what it was missing. Okay, I could probably get this just a little bit. Oops, it's not white. Get this a little bit more, a little more form going here. And there's also just like hints of it going across the top here. All right, 
And then um, I think I, I like this whitish blue for the for the antlers. So now I'm going to come in and add more of that. Unforgivable, I watched. Oh yeah, Unforgivable. Thank you, Sandra Bolt. You guys are so good. Thank you. Um, what did you think? My goodness. Don't give a, don't give it away. <laughs> I was like, oh, I didn't see that coming. We're getting a little loose and crazy with it now, but I like it. And it'll, it'll look really good with the blue um, glass we're gonna add, right? Getting some hints of the brownish gray in there now. Oh yeah. Didn't know it was gonna scratch off that much. But you know what? I don't think I mind it. Because they do kind of look that way. Because they rub their antlers, right? Michelle's uh, technique that she mentioned was something like that. All right. Anyway, something like that. You know what? Let's do this. Let's hold him up so that it's not like um, right under the glare. Recused baby deer that the mother was killed. Aww. Um, people would bring them to her. She would bottle feed them. Oh, fresh fruit. Oh, Diva Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> I love that name. Oh my God, I love that name. That is so cool. Okay, now looking at it, um, yeah, I need to do a little bit more. Okay, so what the first thing I see is that um, okay, the first thing I see is that I don't I don't like what's going on right here. Is he amazing? Oh, you guys are so nice. Something I need to kind of fix. Oh, this one actually. Oh, you know what it is? It's because this is in the wood and it, it looks like it's part of the ear and it just looks like a little bit too much. But um, let's lay them down and see. It, it, does it look different this way compared to, um, it's still kind of glary. But anyway, okay. If I, if I um, I'm dying to see if I pour some glass on here. Let's just pour some glass on here and see what it's going to look like. I'm dying to see it. Is it dry enough? I think it's dry enough. And I think I do want to put... Um, 
<laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And when there's pieces like this, I just, you know, you can nip these and it'll, it'll break that apart. So I did wash this glass earlier. If you didn't know, you should wash it because, you know, from rubbing, all the glass rubbing against each other, it kind of um, creates this dust in there and it's not gonna sparkle as pretty as if you uh, washed it. And I do notice a difference when I wash it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he looks pretty glitzy with this on there, right? So maybe the two um, parts of the scarf need to be a little bit more differentiated. You know, there's two pieces. Man, I feel like putting it on his antlers, but I don't know that it'll work. Do you think I could put the same? And he would look good with a really huge scarf, wouldn't he? I do have brown um, glass also, you guys. I have brown fire glass. I don't know if that would be too much though. Can you have too much um, glass? Is that even possible? I know, it looks fancy, right? So Pat, where do you live now? Are you, you're not in Florida anymore? We were really thinking of moving to Florida and then the prices went crazy. And I just don't know that I could really leave the grandkids anyway. But, and hubby, hubby wasn't really ready for it, surprisingly, you know, but He's got a four minute commute to work. It's kind of hard to give that up. Literally four minutes. We live four minutes away from the Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin, Costco. That's where he works. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like this painting. I like this piece. All right, we gotta see what happens if we put it on the antlers. Oh, okay, yeah, and, but you're in Georgia or what state are you in? I don't remember. Oh, I think we gotta put it on the antlers. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, I don't think I've seen anybody do this, have you? With glass and resin? Am I the first? Because you know how it is in this community. Everybody um, everybody eventually sees, you know, it's a, it is kind of a small community and we all eventually see each other's stuff, right? <laughs> so you just got to make sure you've got small enough pieces um, for these little antler guys, right? So that's gonna be a little bit of work, but I think it'll be worth it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, we got, you guys. Look at this. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, oh, turn the camera around. Bright eyes. Turn around, bright eyes. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness see what fun we have you guys you got to join us if you're not in here with us I think these are all members anyway right now <laughs> but um if you know any friends if you got friends that want to um check it out oh my god yeah that is gonna be pretty right Oh, thank you, Shelly. Stud muffin. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I need to blend this. I see things. I need to, need to blend that a little bit more and stuff. All right, hold on. Let me grab some brown glass. What do you think? 
Should we put brown glass on it too? <laughs> uh, should we just go completely glass crazy? Um. <laughs> what say you people? Wow, he is majestic. He is super majestic. And you know, the other thing you could do, you could use the small vase filler. You know, the that might look better. I don't know. I have no, I don't know. I just don't know. Should I try that on the other side? The small vase filler, you know what I mean? The Michaels stuff? You guys or do you like it like this um hey tracy oh my goodness tracy how you doing girl uh, okay yeah let me grab some brown downtown charlie brown All right, so this brown, oh my goodness, he is studly. This brown is not reflective, but um, try brown glass on the antler. Oh, okay. Let me get this out of the way. This is not reflective though, so it may not look as nice. No, with the blue antler, I, I, it's not working, but uh, it might, this might be too big. And it might look, it might look good on his, on his body down here, right? I, th I didn't think it looked that great, but you know what I can try on the other antler, Pat? Do you go by, <laughs> I don't know what to call you, Pat. Sorry. Are you Pat, 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 Patricia, Patty? So many options. And of course, the other thing we could do is put, well, he's a guy, but so we wouldn't do it, but you could put, you know, a crown of foliage and stuff <laughs> on there, right? What do you think of this? Does this, actually, that's not too bad, right? But let me get the, um, I have reflective brown also. That might look better than this, but these are nice small pieces, which I kind of like. I've been wondering what I was going to do with this brown um, glass, you know. Tell me what you think of the brown on him. And I think if I add the reflective brown, I also have reflective brown, it'll look really cool. You could add the reflective brown on the, the dark part, darkest part on the outside there. All right, and then I've also got I don't know where I put my champagne colored vase filler from Michaels, but here's this other brown that's reflective. Um, it looks better with just blue scarf. Oh, does it? Okay. This is too much. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna take that off in front of you. That's, let me just take it off one side. 
actually it makes the scarf stand out more, right? Yep. I'm just curious how this dark stuff looks. Uh, nah. All right, well, I can sort through all that later. Um, I wanted to get the, the champagne colored glass. I don't know where it is. But anyway, I probably should let you guys go. We've been on here quite a while, right? And I'll come back on tomorrow night at the same time. And we'll, um, we'll probably finish it up. What do you think? Was this fun? Um, if you're not a member and you want the tracer, you can uh, email me at agnesfriedlander at gmail.com. So that's A-G-N-E-S-F-R-I-E-D-L-A-N-D-E-R at gmail.com. Or just message me here. I'd be happy to to share the tracer with you. <laughs> it was fun, wasn't it? Hey, Nina, how are you? So I did this painting tonight uh, to celebrate. Uh, we, we were over 50 members now in the Painter's Journey membership. And um, I am promoting the membership this week. You can still join for only $27 a month. We do three projects. Um, they're mostly glass and resin. I also, you know, teach you how to paint. A lot of times it's a base layer just like this one was. A uh, base layer of paint of a painted image and then we add glass and resin to it. So you don't have to be an expert painter. Don't have to know how to draw. I always provide you with the tracers. And um, what else? We do, we do a whole variety of different subjects, you know, all kinds of different things. Um, and, you know, if you want to see any of my work, you can always check me out on Instagram. I'm Agnes Friedlander Art Studio um, on Instagram. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Agnes Friedlander Art Studio on Instagram, um, Pinterest. On TikTok, I didn't have room for the I.O. on the end of studio, so it's Agnes Friedlander Art Stud on TikTok. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> and um, <laughs> what can you do? I got a long name, <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, um, if you want the link to join, I don't know if I posted it here. Does anybody remember if I posted it here at the top? I can't, I don't know if I did or not, but it's a special link to join. Um, thank you, Cheryl. It's a special link to join through PayPal. You can choose the annual membership. It's $3.23 for the year or $27 a month. That's going to go away soon. The $27 a month is going away. I'm probably going to raise it to $32 a month. So get your friends in here now. Let them know about this before it goes up. Or if you're thinking of joining, join before it goes up. I'm not, I don't know exactly when I'm going to raise it because I want to at least get to 100 members. Right now, I think we're at 51 or 52 members, so it's not going to be long, and um, I'd love to have you join us. So, I don't know, I can't think of anything else. Can you guys think of anything else that we should tell any potential new members that are on the fence or anything? Um, um, um. Oh, there's a vault. I have a vault with... Um, a lot of painting lessons because I I've had my membership um, two and a half years so there's a lot of good stuff um, <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm running on fumes now I think lately I get up at like 3 30 in the morning anybody else I just can't seem to not get up at 3 30 in the morning Ugh. Anyway, doesn't seem like there's any more questions, but um, if you think of something, let me know. Happy to send you the um, tracer, like I said. 
I'm, I'm sorting through these different. Um, oh, yay, Mary's joining. Yay, Mary. You're going to love it. And the ladies are so, so nice in this group. I'm telling you. My goodness. Wonderful, wonderful ladies. The best part is, I think, one of the best parts is that we have, we, we're on Messenger. You know, we're on Messenger and we kind of chat all day long, you know. Um, if it gets to be too much, you can mute the conversation, come back, you know, eight hours. I think it's got options like come back eight hours later, one hour later, or when I choose to come back. You know, you could pick one of those. Um, I had I had to do that for the first time the other day. I really needed to concentrate. I forgot what I was doing. And I'm like, oh my God, I got to get this done. So I turned off my messenger conversations. I have the most wonderful admin that um, she she helps me, you know, Michelle is her name, Shelly. And I don't know if she's still on here, but Shelly is like a big warm hug. She's just the sweetest thing. Uh, I absolutely love her. I don't know what I would do without her. So she's, she's you know, she's back up in case the group goes down. You know, you never know with Facebook groups. Sometimes people hijack your group and if you don't have somebody as an admin, you could totally not get your group back. So you always want to have another person. Yeah, isn't Shelly great? You always want to have another person in your um, Facebook group that, that's an admin, you know. But she's she does way more than that. She, you know, she just, she just loves chatting all day. She, this is who she is genuinely. So it's not even, you know, an effort for her. You know what I mean? She just loves chatting with everybody, which is really nice. And she's really, really sweet and warm. Um, so anyway, I'm going on and on about her. That's it, you guys. I'm gonna let you <laughs> gonna let you go. I could just keep. Oh, somebody's asking for the deer template. Yes, I will get her that. And um, Mary, do you want the deer template? Let me know. It's called. Um, let me show you in case you haven't seen it. I don't know how long you've been on. Did you just get here? I don't even know. Maybe you were here from the beginning. I'm sorry. So this is what it looks like deer with scarf tracer and the cool thing about this is that we can do so many different things with him right so many different things anyway that's it you guys thank you for joining me i'll be back on tomorrow night at the same time so that we started at like seven eastern six central and we will finish this guy up and we'll even put resin on him and everything so thank you so much see you tomorrow bye